what is up YouTube, that's here bringing you guys another episode of In It To Injure. We are still playing with the Lily Cole team that's not really a Lily Cole team and is actually more like a Machamp team, but uh, we also made a couple changes to it. We took out the Butterfree for Smeargle and I just want to say I've spent the last like three hours getting this Smeargle. I did it completely legit, 100% legit everything like this thing I had to go like chain for all the the moody smear goal I'd get all the correct moves on it this guy's moveset is gonna be fake out follow me sport and transform so the smear is gonna be a little bit different it should actually help the team a lot more now I can go like smear goal and have Lele potentially switch in to make it so I can go for a very safe spore or I can transform into stuff there's a lot of more safe options I have now that this is a smear goal over butterfree I kind of wish I was running Butterfree, but, uh, you know, Smeargle's pretty cool, too. We're also going to be running down the items here. We got the Life Orb of Champ, the Focus Sash Smeargle, the Grassium Z Lilligan, the Choice Specs Torkoal, the uh, Normalium Z Porygon Z, which is our main Trick Room Setter, and the Choice Garb Tapu Lele, which is a very unique EV spread. Uh, it's it's quite bulky, and it's not the same EV spread I used back when I played with the Blitzkrieg team. This thing has, I think, 164 in speed, uh, full special attack, and the rest in bulk. Because uh, it just needs to be faster than Pheromos, so that's the, pretty much the only Scarf Mon, uh, sorry, the only Mon that I'm really interested in being faster than. I was thinking about just putting full speed so I could be faster than, you know, like Scarf Gyarados or Scarf, you know, Arcanine and have a chance to speed tie. But I realized anyone that's going to be Scarfing something is just going to be faster than Lele anyways. I really only need to be faster than Pheromos and Coco, so... Might as well just uh, put the rest in bulk so I can look through some extra stuff. We don't obvi obviously we don't even really bring Lele all that often with this team, and I know I'm rambling, so we're just gonna hop into some games and see if we can style on some people with Machamp. Here we go. All right, so we're going up against Coco Snorlax, Porygon 2, Garchomp, Ninetales, and Buzzswole. This team looks extremely eruptionable. All right, let me see. What do I want to do here? I think I might still Trick Room him, cause like Coco, Garchomp, Ninetales all lose to the Trick Room still. And like Machamp and Por or sorry, Machamp beats Snorlax and Porygon, so even if it is Trick Room, I'll still be alright. So yeah, we're gonna go Smeargle. Smeargle and Porygon. We're gonna go Torkoal. Hope he weeds Ninetales, but I doubt it. If he brings Ninetales, that's actually good for me. It's most likely where his sash is. Garchomp's probably Z move. Coco's probably Orbed or or Z move as well. Probably a vest on that Buzzswole. We can assume all this stuff based off of how standard his team is. I could technically get away with Lele here, but I think that I'm fine with these four. Here we go. We're waiting on him. I do think that I have the advantage in this matchup. Even if you were to, like, have weather advantage on me with Ninetales, I'm not bringing Lily again. I don't really need it. And he legit just brought, like, a Ninetales to fight, like, Torkoal and Machamp. Like, good luck. Good luck with that one. Let's see how well it works for you. I guess he has Encore on Ninetales, but I don't really see a scenario where I would let myself get Encored. He has very limited forms of, like, uh, turn one pressure. Like, he could technically go for, like, an Aurora Veil. That's a defensive reactive turn one. It's not really aggressive at all. I do not want him to get Aurora Veil up. If I see him going for that, I'll either be fake outing or switching in Torkoal. I might... It depends on what his lead is. If his lead isn't something that can one-shot Porygon or get rid of Porygon or delay my Trick Room, I will be fake outing his Ninetales if he leads with it. So we'll see. Ninetales Buzzswole. Buzzwool can totally stop what I'm trying to do here. So yeah, we gotta fake out the Buzzwool. And I think it's a little bit better to be fake outing here than just be follow me -ing. That's what I think. Yeah, we're gonna fake out the Buzzwool. Man, we're just gonna go for a Trick Room. So hopefully, I don't get, uh... Yeah, hopefully we don't get Frozen if he just goes for a YOLO Blizzard. I guess he could also have Roar Nine Tails, in which the correct play is just to use Follow Me. Now we'll see. Fake Out's a good move. I, it, it'll let me preserve my Smurgle for a second turn. So it was for the Fake Out. Let's see if he's using Roar. Yeah, he just goes for the Yellow Blizzard. Don't freeze my Porygon, please. Don't freeze my Smurgle. Just don't freeze me. How hard is it to not freeze me? Buzzful flinches, and we did it. Alright, cool. We're doing alright. Okay, now how do I actually want to play this? I think I'm just going to follow me again. Special attack boost. Can we just speed drop, please? Special D drop doesn't really matter. Alright, I will be follow me -ing. And I think I'm just going to try attack the Ninetales, because it's a two-shot. 
I kind of want to uh, Z move the Ninetales because that would still break its sash through protect. But this is fine. I can Z move the Buzzwell next turn and bring in Machamp. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Everyone just staying in. All right. I wonder if he's going to be going for a Roar here. I wonder if that would even be a good play. Uh, I, like I said, the Buzzwell is most likely vested. So it's fine. Superpower. All right. That kind of sucks, actually, because, like, Buzzwool is slower than Porygon. Actually, this might be it. No, I have to, that means I have to send Torquat next turn, which isn't necessarily a bad play. I like Torquil. He's going to be able to get a solo target Blizzard on me, too. Ooh, I don't really like that. Oh, he's going for a Freeze Dry. Why? He had the solo target Blizzard. Oh, he didn't want to get followed. He didn't want to get a Wide Guarded. That's fine. All right, we just got to send Torquil out. Torquil can one-shot a Buzzwool even if it's vested. And he already has the Ninetales on the board, so this is fine. And we broke a Sash. I think we're in a good spot. I'm thinking about trying to switch in my Porygon. Let me just look what he has in the back and uh, make sure that Porygon... No, I'll leave the Porygon on the board. Let me just check what he has. He has no Intimidator. Yeah, I'll just keep Porygon here. Alright, we should be fine. Ninetales either going to protect or switch, I think. But either way, I don't really think it matters all that much. Because whatever will be coming out. Yeah. Oh, good. I actually nuked that slot. So what's coming in? Strongox is going to get one-shotted. That was a correct play for me. Here we go. Ninetales is going to be protecting. Like I said, it's really not the end of the world if that thing protects. Like, I would ever even waste my time attacking it once the Trick Room's, like, already up. Well, I, I, I'm not going to tunnel on a Ninetales. A Pokemon that has, like, absolutely no pressure here. So he's going to get his berry, right? But he's, I'm also Tri-Attacking. And that looks like it's heavily invested in Special D. That's Snorlax. But this tri attack will put it within range to get KO'd from a second eruption. Okay, and we still have our Z move if we want to use it. So that means the next thing that comes out, we just have to make sure our Trick Room turns around point. We have two turns. We're going to get a double KO here, and then we're going to be in a scenario where it's Buzzwall, who we have to assume is Vested, and random other Pokemon versus Torkoal and Porygon Z and Machamp in a Trick Room. So I think this is actually really, really good for me. I think we're going to be okay. And we're nuking that Ninetale slot. Because it obviously is switching into the Garchomp here. Garchomp should be going down to the Tri-Attack after the Eruption. You would, you would assume that it would be. So Snorlax is going to be taking a ton of damage. And Garchomp might not go down to the Tri-Attack, but I think it will. And what's kind of good for him is that the Buzzswool won't be taking like fire damage from the from the sun. He's, the Ninetales is going to reset it, but I still think that's okay. Uh, I'm going to be Z-moving the Ninetales slot for sure. Because uh, we just want to KO that thing no matter what. And he's most likely going to be protecting next turn. Yeah, so we're just going to be eruptioning and uh, Z-moving the Ninetales slot. So we saved our Z-move all this time to break through the Protect. I still think we can KO the Ninetales through Protect here. And uh, Buzzswole is most likely just going to be... I, I would assume he's attacking our Porygon, right? But I still think I can one-shot it with the Eruption, as weird as that sounds. Because I'm spexed. Buzzswoles aren't known for having that big of a special D slot. Even if it's vested. So Eruption. And the Z-move. Z-Hyper Beam. Into the Ninetales slot. And if Torkoal just KOs Ninetales because he didn't protect, this gets redirected in the Buzzwall. So it's a win-win for us, no matter what. We targeted everything correctly. Ninetales protects. Ooh, I love it. I love it. This is going to be one of the first KOs. All this probably... I don't really get KOs through Z-moves all that often, and uh, this is the correct way to use it. So we really got to KO this Buzzwall, though. Yes. Yes, we do. See, like Ninetales, it's okay against the Lilligant, but it's not really good against just, like, Torkoal and other stuff. So we're going to be able to slam this in here. I still think it can KO. This is like one of the strongest moves in the game. Boosted by Adaptability and Stab off of Hyper Beam of all moves. So it's like super, super strong. And I, I think it can one-shot through the Z-move. Well, it's not really a one-shot. That thing's at like 15%. But I think we are going to be able to take it out. And that's going to be pretty sick. Good stuff. We didn't have to show them a champ. He, he didn't even like... I didn't even need Machamp to beat this guy, but Machamp would have been pretty good against, like, Ninetales and Snorlax and Garchomp. Machamp's good against all of those, so maybe next time we'll get to use Machamp. Who knows? Let's try it next time. All right, so we're going up against Arcanine, Coco, Kartana, Raichu, Golduck, Whimsicott. Does he have Rain Dance on some of those mods? It's a pretty weird-looking team. Pretty weird-looking team that loses really hard to Trick Room if you play it correctly. So, I think what we're going to do... I think what we're going to do is we're going to Trick Room him. So we're going to Smeargle. 
Porygon. And one thing we have to watch out for when we go for the Follow Me Trick Room is if he does KO our uh, Smeargle first turn, we have to use Z move so we don't get locked into like Encore on our Trick Room. We don't Trick Room our Trick Room. That'd be really bad. So we're going to Z move and then probably switch out the Porygon. So uh, we should be fine here. I actually think uh, we're going to be great. I could also just run Double Duck into the. Or not Double Duck. I could run. I could just run Lily Cole into this, Hard Switch in Lele, Bloom Doom, any of his mons. They all get one shotted by the Bloom Doom except for like the Arcanine and the Kartana. And I would, I would be fine. So yeah, that's also an option. Maybe if we were playing game two, I'd go for that. But uh, I think it's just a safe trick room lead is uh, relatively good against this. Lele is actually really, really good against this team, unless that's a Scarf Kartana. So it, potential for like game two and game three, you can be thinking about. This team has a bunch of versatility. It's not just a trick room team. So I, I think that we are going to be able to body him pretty hard because he's too aggressive. There's a Sash somewhere, most likely on the Kartana, but, or the Whimsicott. I hope it's on the Whimsicott, because Whimsicott is, like, pretty useless. And, uh, we'll just see what he's going for. I expect Whimsicott to be in the lead. Yeah, Whimsicott, Coco, this is fine. Do I even really want to follow me? I am, but I don't know if it's worth it. I'm thinking about fake-outing, that's what I'm thinking about. I'm thinking about fake-outing his Whimsicott to break Sash if it's there, and just potentially letting the Coco Z move me? Ah, oh, that'd be so dangerous. I'm gonna follow me. Like if he has it, he has it, you know? Like if he if I'd rather blow a Z move in my smear anyways. And it would show me that he doesn't have a sash. That's another really good thing. So we're just gonna follow me, Trick Room. We're playing it a little bit safe, because we're trying to learn a little bit about his moves. Uh, I would love, like I said, to go for the fake out on Whimsicott to break Sash and incapacitate it for a turn, but hey, follow me is not a bad move either. And I really don't think his Whimsicott's gonna be attacking. I think it might be setting up. We also have to watch out for like the nature power potential. He's going for the taunt here. That's completely fine. Let's see if he also... Oh, he just has a rain down. So Smirkle's still going to be at full? I actually really like that. So we have to think about this. What are his mons that are the biggest problems here? We're going to be Z-moving next turn with Porygon. Who do we want to Z-move? I think we're going to Z-move the Coco. Because Coco is the one that can pop the big thunder off on our mons. I think we're just going to hard switch in Torkoal. And it's going to make him a sad panda. Because he's most likely going to be encoring or taunting either of my mons. He's probably going to be encoring my Porygon. But I could also see him... Uh, you know, going for a weird Endeavor play, or maybe like a Nature Power, or something like that, something weird. So we're just going to switch in Torkoal. And we're just going to be Hyper Beaming, Z Hyper Beaming the Coco, because Tri-Attack actually is a roll a lot of the time. We want the, the Kappa Coco gone, and remember his team's like all sweepers, so I don't really need to use my Z move on anything else. So as long as it's on a Sash Coco, I think we're being in a really good spot. The fact that he has Rain Dance makes me think that he might be Sash, though. Like, there's probably a Z move on his Whimsicott, if you really think about it. So, yeah, Z-move's popping off. Oh, it's mine. All right, cool, good. I was like, someone's using a Z-move. I, I saw the little speck in the animation that meant someone was using one. Look, luckily, it's me. Hopefully, it's not going to be Sash Coco, though. The fact that he didn't protect also kind of scares me. And I, I was, I'm actually completely fine blowing Z-moves into protect a lot of the time because it can break Sashes if you target them correctly. And uh, breaking Sashes is huge because, like, technically a Sash against my team means they get, like, completely extra Mon. Like, it's almost like they have five Mons because I have to go through, like, big one-shots and everything like that. So he's just attacking. This is still fine with me. I think I might switch out my Porygon next turn. We're going to see what he brings in. See if it's something I need to stay in for. I do not want to get Encored and go for, like, Encore my own Trick Room. That's not something that I'm actually about. But it looks like it doesn't have the Encore, else he would have totally used it, I think. I think he would have done it. So, uh, we're just going to go for the Eruption, and we're going to go for a Tri-Attack onto the Golduck. Don't know if this is actually going to work, but, uh, hey, it's worth a shot, right? It should KO the Golduck, but, you know, we'll see. Eruption's going to come off. Yeah, no protects from anyone. Uh, this should actually be able to KO the Golduck, I think. Whimsicott is going to have that Focus Sash that I talked about. And I'm actually really happy to see that on something like Whimsicott versus the Kartana, for example. Golduck should be going down to this Tri-Attack, too. Yeah, so another thing is, you see my moveset is Tri-Attack, Hyper Beam, Trick Room, and Ice Beam. Note that I'm using both Tri-Attack and Ice Beam and, like, Hyper Beam. Like, I don't have Protect in my Porygon, which sometimes sucks. Like, that turn, I probably would have thought about using Protect. But uh, it makes it so I don't have to, like, use Hyper Beam against things, like, all the time. Like, now I can Hyper Beam this thing, and the game's, like, pretty much over. Oh, I'm just going to Ice Beam that one. But, uh, yeah, so we're just going to go for the Eruption, and we're just going to Ice Beam that guy, because it's neutral damage, and Ice Beam can't miss, whereas Hyper Beam can miss, other moves can miss. And I think we're going to be able to wrap this one up. Remember, we still have the full HP Smeargle in the back. We are going to get that guy to forfeit, and uh, while that was not the most competitive game ever, that guy had a pretty weird team, 
uh, it showed the strength of my team and how safe and in control you are a lot of the time. Even if like their, their opponents are super aggressive, you are the one in control. And that's, that's what I like about this team. You know, I, I, if I want to go Trick Room, I know that I can get my Trick Room up rather safely. If I want to go Aggression, yeah, it's a little bit risky, but they have to respect my aggression. You can almost influence their leads based off how aggressive your team looks. So the fact when you do Trick Room them and they have like two big sweepers, well, that's exactly what you wanted. You wanted them to lead with their incredibly fast sweepers so you could Trick Room them and just body them with Pokemon like Torkoal, like Machamp. So as always, guys, let me know what you guys think about this team in the comments below. I'm interested in hearing what you guys think about it. Thank you guys for watching, and I will see you guys next time. Peace out.